This week on Machinery Pete TV. The last of Terry Smith's great machinery goes on the auction block. The bids just keep going on this one owner John Deere 9770 STS Combine. This Alice Chalmers D19 is just loaded with options. And we return to the Agritechnica show with a look at the latest New Holland CR. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. We're in Chillicothe, Missouri today. And folks, I gotta tell you, writing about trends in 2023, a new one emerged. And it was pre-def combines, very strong auction pricing. Now, of course, pre-def tractors, skid steers, trucks, been red hot for years. I've been writing a lot about that. But this year, pre-def combines, we've seen a, a big spike in buyer interest. And on today's auction, man, we got a beauty. A 2010 John Deere 9770 STS, one owner, 1,356 separator hours on it. And before we jump into the good auction action, we got to go back to the studio and get the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Look for prices at the grocery store to rise again this year. USDA is forecasting a 1.3% increase in the consumer price index for all food this year. That's a slight increase from December. Now, grocery store prices are expected to rise 0.4% this year, while prices at restaurants, they're expected to increase nearly 5%. Cattlemen and women from across the country are in Orlando this week for their annual cattle industry convention and trade show. At the heart of the meeting, the recent run-up in prices, the number of cattle and calves in the country, which have been falling as of late, and the outlook for consumer demand. One equipment manufacturer getting a fine from the Federal Trade Commission, Kubota North America is being ordered to pay a $2 million civil penalty. The FTC penalty is for what it says is the company's false labeling of some of its replacement parts as being made in the U.S. even though they were made entirely overseas. Now the company also accused of moving manufacturing and not updating the product labeling. The fine is the largest ever in a made in the USA case. Kubota saying in a statement to CNBC it cooperated fully with the FTC and is voluntarily addressing the concerns. Farmer protests in Europe are expanding. This week French farmers took to Paris streets to deliver their message, they used hay bales and tractors to snarl traffic and block highways into the capital city. Signs saying no farmers, no food on full display as those farmers blame falling incomes on higher prices for fertilizer, energy and other inputs, adding that France's farming sector is overregulated by environmental laws and hurt by food imports from other countries. That's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Back to our host, Machinery Pete. Hey, stick with us, folks. Coming up, big, beautiful blue tillage here. A 2015 Landall 7431-33 VT. Not going to want to miss this baby selling. Today, when you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna be taking off these 800 metric Goodyear LSWs and putting on 320s, narrow ones.
Man, that uh, tire grabber system is incredible. I think it took us less than 45 minutes to change them for the first time. I guarantee you it's gonna be quicker than that next time. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. You've gotta try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. Hey folks, here with Josh Teeter, Teeter Auction Company, and Josh, what a joy to drive down from Minnesota for this sale. Uh, the sellers, the equipment, now it's not a big sale, but uh, Terry and Mary, beautiful equipment. Excellent line of equipment, excellent. We're, we're glad to have you, Pete, and you and your crew, so got a nice nice day ahead of us. It's not going to take very long, but you know, it, it just more or less speaks for itself. Yeah, and visiting with Terry a little bit, and what a fun guy to you bet. talk to. But I could tell, he, he said, Pete, I'm, yeah, I'm very meticulous, he yes. said. Yes. He was talking about when he and his dad had all the ground back in the day, and they all they had was six-row planters, but he said, I wanted to do it just right. That's right. And you could tell, looking at his equipment, that that kind of carried through with them over the years, didn't you it? You betcha. You know, and I and Pete, I often say we work for the, the greatest people that walked to Earth, and that's the American farmer. And Mary and Terry, they, they, they've just been absolutely wonderful to work with. And, and, you know, when you sell a good lineup of machinery, it makes our job easier, you know, when it, more or less the machinery will speak for itself. So, you know, it, it, we're very excited about today. Well, folks, I've seen auction prices so far this year on John Deere RD35F Flex Draper heads anywhere from 60500 on the low side up to hundred k. Now in today's auction, we got a beauty, a 21 model. It's a one owner head. Now 80, 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 now Look what's on it, gentlemen. 85, 87.5. Here we go. I got 85,000. And now 90,000. That's your turn. 87.5, 90. 87.5, 90. You've looked at it. You know the shape. Here we go. 87.5, 90,000. Go ahead and click the bid. I got 87.5, 90,000. I'll be over by 90 to 90 to 90,000. I'll be over by 90 to bid. 90 right. Here we go. 87.5, 90. I got 87.5, 90,000. I'll be over by 90. Internet, you still got your hand on the bid button. I don't want to short sell you, but I do got to go. I got 87.5, 90,000. I got 87.5, 90,000. I'll be over by Herman. You want it? 87. Buying the ninety thousand dollar over ninety to ninety to ninety thousand dollar over eighty seven five ninety thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Are we all in? Are we all done? Eighty seven five ninety thousand, and I have. So eighty seven thousand five hundred eighty seven five. Thank you, gentlemen. One thirty four. Well, folks, I tell you, we got a really sharp vertical tillage tool here. This twenty fifteen Landall seventy four thirty one dash thirty three VT. And I tell you, the last two years at auction, 22 and 23, we've seen buyer demand really surge higher on good use vertical tillage units. How much here? All right, here we go. I'm going to give 32, 5, 35,000. Here we go. I'm gone. I'm 32, 5, 35,000. Where? I got 32, 35, 37, 5. Yep, 37,500. I'm 35, 40, 40,000. I'm 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 50 Seven five with a brand new horse in the race. Now fifty seven five. I got fifty five thousand dollars over by seven five and trying to get nine fifty seven five sixty thousand. Yep, sixty thousand dollars over by sixty. Now sixty. I believe it would. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead and do it. Sixty thousand, sir. I'm waiting on you. I got sixty thousand. Now two five day. It's sixty thousand dollars over by sixty five 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 sixty two thousand five hundred dollars over. Sir, I'll take sixty one. You've been a good ride the whole way. You've been a good bidder. Sixty one thousand. I've got sixty thousand bid. Sixty one. I got sixty thousand dollars over by one to bid one to buyer. I got sixty thousand dollars over by one to one and one to get sixty one thousand. Now 62. I knew he weren't. I wasn't gonna sell it. I just threatened. 61, 62. 61, 62. 62. You bid. Now 62. Now 63. 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 Now 
Come on. I got 62, 63. Hit it one more time, sir. You're buying Smith quality here. You know he took good care of it. 62, 63. End of the year. 62, 63. You got that look in your eye. I got 62, 63. I know he is. I wouldn't sell it if he didn't. I got 62, 63. I got it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate what you did do. I sold the, the tillage tool. 62,000. Thank you. 62,000. Put it on 1818. Very good, sir. We appreciate you. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. 44,000, thank you sir, 44,000, come on, come on, you're gonna get out, 4,100, I'm 100, 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 i am Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Egg Innovations, a company with a 20 year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machinery Pete's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, I got my orange on today. Got me thinking Kubota. And I want to talk about a few low hour Kubota items that have run across my desk here recently. And let's start with a farm auction, uh, January 24th, in Cobbleskill, New York, by Mel Manassi and Sons. This like-new Kubota M7172 tractor with only 270 hours on it, with an LM2605 loader, sold for $90,000. On that same auction, this Kubota M6S111, 390 hours, open station with a Kubota loader, went for $42,500. Now, of course, on the skid steer front, Kubota's a big player in the game. I've actually seen over 1,350 Kubota skid steers sold at auction the past 24 years. One that caught my eye recently was on a November 1st online auction out of Meeker, Oklahoma. This 2021 SVL 97-2, 198 hours on it, like new condition, went for $72,500. That was the fourth highest auction price in 2023 on a Kubota skid steer. Now, of course, mini excavators have been red hot here the last 18 months or so, and my friends at Fraley Auction Company had their 18th annual Hoover Tractor Auction on January 1st, 2024 in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. And they sold this Kubota KX040-4 with only 80 hours on it, went for $63,130. And folks, I'll leave you with three Kubota items listed for sale uh, by the John Greeno Estate. These are for sale privately in our machinerypeat.com website from West Salem, Ohio. Really barn fine items here. This 2021 Kubota KX057-5 excavator, one hour on it. Also a pair of 2018 front mount Kubota mowers. This F3990 with one hour. And this F2690 with five hours. Again, those are listed for sale at machinerypeat.com. Hey, welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, join me as we head out to the Pacific Northwest to check out a very unique Alice Chalmers D19. Oh, I got a 1964 Alice Chalmers D19 turbo diesel. Uh, it was the 39th of the last one off the assembly line out of West Alice, Wisconsin. I was uh, on the Alice Chalmers discussion forum on there quite a bit, and I uh, saw this guy, uh, Brian Lee, out of Montevideo, Minnesota, had the thing, and talked to him about a year ago about 
if he wants to sell the tractor, he didn't. And bugged him about three, four months ago and said, do you want to sell the tractor again? And started talking back and forth. And I said, name your price. And he did. And it was max amount what I wanted to go. But I got it in my collection. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, what's unique about it is it's a three-point PTO, which is pretty hard to find on a lot of the D19 tractors. It's got the front weight option, the rear pie weight option. Got every option on it that the factory threw at it back in 1964. I just did a little bit of touch-up paint here and there. I bought it pretty well restored, just like it is. Um, I'm probably going to tractor pull a little bit with it here and there, and kind of a parade tractor, and if we have plowing days, do something like that. And So not going to work it that hard. He got out a guy out of uh, Utah, in Salt Lake City, Utah area, and I knew who he was, so I called him up, and he bought it a uh, brand new out of Ramona, California area. So pretty neat go from West Allis, Wisconsin to Ramona, California to Utah, Minnesota, and now back up to Linden, Washington. It's, it's gonna stay in this home for quite some time. Today, when you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain on stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Pre-def combines this year have been hot, and I tell you, today we have the perfect example. A 2010 model John Deere 9770 STS, one owner, 1,356 separator hours. 172.5, sir, and now 175,000. Hit 175, now 177.5, and 100, get in our 177.5, hit 177.5, now 180,000, sir, hit 180,000, now 185, hit 182,500, and 185, and 180,000, sir, I got 180,000, live in a ring. 182,000, 182, sir, I'll take 181 and nothing finer from here on out. I'm not going to sell him out for 500,000. I've got 181 on the net, 180. 182,000. We're not through yet. 182, 183, 182, 183. I'm at 182 now. 3,000. Now 3,000. You know the home it had Smith quality. 183, 184. Hit 184,000. Hit 183, 184. Don't lose that combine over a thousand bucks. Hit 183, 184. Um, was that a bid? 184. Now 185. I'm at 184, 85, 5, 5, 5, 5, 185,000. Now 86. Hit 185, 186,000. Now 85. You don't have to go far for it, sir. You know what the home it had. Pre-death, these good combines are getting hard to find. 185, 186, 185. You know the home it had, sir, better than anybody. 185, 186, buy you good combine. I've got 185, 186. I've got 105. Yeah. Now 187. I knew we weren't through yet. 186, 187, 8600, 777, I'm not going to short sell you internet, but I do got to go. 186, 187. I'll give you the same amount of time. 100, now 188, 187, 188, 187, 188, 188,000. Gold key, Smith Farm quality. 180, is that a bit? Now 189,000. I've got 188,000 live in a ring. Your hand's still on that bid button. I'll take 189,000, nothing finer. 188, 189. Are we all in? Are we all done? I'm going to bid 188, now 9 to 9,000. 189 to 9,000. 188 to 189,000. And I have, ladies and gentlemen, fair warning, final call. Hold on, driver. 188, 189,000. 89, and I have. I sold the combine, 188,000, put it on 95. Congratulations, sir. 
Well, there you go, folks. Auctioneer Josh Teeter kept saying it during the sale. You're buying Terry Smith quality. Wow, his combine was beautiful. The 2010 John Deere 9770 STS, 1,356 SEP hours on it. Sells for 188,000 bucks. Second highest auction price this year on a 9770. When an equipment manufacturer starts with a clean slate, it can lead to some exciting innovation. That's the message from New Holland as they featured their new CR combine at the recent Agrotechnica show in Hanover, Germany. You're looking at the culmination of over 10, 10 years of work. There are 75 patents for a new material on this machine, uh, and there is virtually nothing in common with the existing CR other than the cab. The cab is the only part that's, that's, that's stayed the same. Everything inside it is new, freshing, the way that the drives work inside the machine, the way the cleaning shoe works, and the way the residue management works. This is a completely new combine that takes us up to the next level of harvesting. Grain lock, maintenance, fuel consumption, all of these bits and pieces add to the cost of harvesting. And what we're trying to do here is drive that down completely. So everything to do with this machine, every new part that we put on this machine, is supporting that dream of getting this cost of harvesting down uh, to a credible level nowadays. One thing with the engine is we've completely turned it around 90 degrees. So rather than running across the combine, we're running it in line with the combine. And we've also tipped it forward to line up with the rotors. So what we're trying to do here is we're not using gearboxes to change drive directions and waste power. Wasted power is wasted fuel. So that's what we're trying to do here, driving the efficiencies forward with it. It's a ground up redesign of, of, of the CR Combine. What it has in common with the current CR Combine, I've told you the cab, it's got two rotors in it as before. It's got our dynamic feed roll or dynamic stone roll, they originally called it in the state. And it's got a discharge beater at the back. So that's similar. But what we've done with the rotors themselves, we've increased the length of them. We've increased the diameter of them so that we've got more threshing and separation area in the machine itself. So we've completely redrawn the, uh, uh, the way that the combine, combines work or their expectations. Well, folks, it was a joy to be here today in Chillicothe, Missouri. Kind of an old time farm retirement auction for great folks, Terry and Mary Smith, uh, and fun to watch Teeter Auction Company do their thing. And like we had talked about during the show, the, the trend with pre-def combines in good condition being red hot, man, did we see that today. The feature item going 188 on that 9770. We'll see you back here next week, same time, same bat channel for Machine Repeat TV. Machine Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone.